Hey, what's up? This is Seth. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate and send purchase agreements for e-signature all secure in Stride. So this alone is a big reason why some people move to Stride in the first place simply for this, because it's expensive to pay for a separate e-signature service. I used to pay 588 bucks a year just for PandaDoc, and it still didn't make my life that much easier because I still had to upload every individual document and map out the fields. Super annoying. With Stride, this is a major benefit because all the information you you're collecting is built into your CRM along with the contract and you can use the merge fields and create it like that and get the thing sent and also track when that recipient has viewed it when they've signed it and if they haven't signed it we've got an automation built in that will remind them until they do so I'm going to show you how all that works right now. So let's go over here to our contacts. And when you're collecting information about a property from a prospect, you know, their first and last name, their mailing address, email, phone number, all the property details, for the most part, a lot of that initially is going to go right here into the contact fields. So if we open up Colton right here and we scroll down, we can see, you know, first, last name. Some of the stuff can actually be imported with your list from wherever you got that list from, whether it's the land portal or data a tree or prop stream or wherever. So some of that stuff can get imported directly here. And some of it you'll have to manually fill in as you get the information from the prospect. Or it could be filled in by your VA or if you're using a cold caller, for example, they could put some of that stuff in here too. And you don't have to fill all that stuff in, but just the key information that's needed to generate that purchase agreement. And I'll show you what that is right here. So obviously we've got the first and last name. We got the email address that's needed to email this to that prospect. You could also text it to them, but email is usually the most streamlined way to do this and we can go down here we've got the mailing address right here and then down here where it says general info we've got the property size we've got the property address if there is an address or it could just be the street name for that matter we've got the parcel number so some of that key information that would normally go in a purchase agreement and then right down here where it says acquisitions so this is where we would put our actual offer amount on this property in this example we're offering twenty five thousand dollars we'll say the offer date is six for 25 and there's two options on how we can do this if we want to generate and send this contract right now we don't even want to see it just send the thing and email it to that seller and let them do it we could be done with that right here just click send contract now and then save and the thing is sent another way we could do this though and this is usually how i do it is we can just create a draft that we can go preview what the document looks like make sure everything's perfect and if it is then we can send it so i'm going to do that just to show how this works so we'll click save here and now we can go over here to payments and we'll go up to documents and contracts. We'll click all documents and contracts and we can see right here in our drafts folder, we've got purchase and sale agreement. This is the one we just generated. Now, if we had said, just send the thing, it wouldn't show up here in drafts at all. It would just go right over here to waiting for others. But again, I told this to create a draft. So that's what we've got here and go ahead and click on this thing. And you can see all the different merge fields that came in here. So we've got our name here. This is the demo account, but normally this would be your business name and address. We've got the name of the seller, we've got today's date, parcel number, the address pulled in, the offer amount. And this template is the one that I use. It's available to you for free if you want to use this, but you don't have to use this. If you wanted to, you could upload your own template and map out the merge fields yourself. But just for ease of use, this one is built right in. And we've even got the signature of the buyer right over here on the left. That's for you to sign. And then the seller, that's for them to sign. This works the exact same way that it would on something like DocuSign or PandaDoc or HelloSign. Same concept. It's just built right into your CRM right here in Stride. And the beautiful thing is, this costs you nothing extra. This is just part of the package of what you get. This is one of the many different third-party subscriptions you can wipe out as a result of using Stride. So assuming we're okay with this, we can go up here and we can preview it again if we want. That's like the official version right there with all those obvious merge fields gone. It's just the text is baked right into it. And if that all looks good, we can go right up here to send. And we actually have two different options on how we can send this. We can just send it via email to the email address that we have in there. Or say if you don't have their email address, that's okay too. You can go ahead and share it via link. You should have their phone number by this point, most likely. You can just generate the links right here and then go ahead and copy this. And this is the link that Colton, our seller, is going to have to sign. So we could send this to him. And while we're here, we could copy this one for ourselves and go sign this ourselves on behalf of the buyer. So if I go back here and copy the seller's link, let's just go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like on their end. 
Now we can see, oh, look at this, start filling it out. Just go ahead and do that right here. And in terms of security, this is using the same systems that things like DocuSign and PandaDoc use. And in some ways it's even more secure than having that person sign with their wet signature because there's no question about forgery because this can tell that person's geolocation and verify it was them at this time, at this location. And these are legally binding signatures. And another thing to be aware of, so now that we've officially sent this thing and got that link, we can go back over here. We'll see that that document is now out of drafts and now it's been added to this waiting for others thing. And we can see that it's been viewed. So we can tell exactly when the seller has seen that thing, but hasn't signed it yet. And what do we do about these people who have seen it, but haven't signed it yet? Is there a way we can like prod them? Well, you could do that manually, but we've actually got an automatic reminder workflow built right into Stride for you. So if you go over here to automations, we'll go ahead and open up this folder. And in case you didn't know, we included a lot of pre-built automations in stride for you just so you're aware but one of the many ones we have in here is right under here under the acquisition folder and contract reminders so if we open this thing up we can see what happens when we send them this contract for e-signature and they don't sign it yet well this says it's going to wait one day and then it's going to send them this email just reminding them about the contract that we sent them and it's going to wait another day it's going to send them another email it's going to wait another day and then send them another email. If this person is flaky or if they just forgot or whatever the excuse might be, there is some effort put into this to remind them. And also keep in mind, if you don't like these reminders or if you don't like what the emails say, you can change them to whatever you want. You could even set up a new automation workflow where instead of sending emails, maybe you send them texts every single day to remind them with that link in the text however you want to do it, but we've got this one added in here for you. And then once that seller does sign it, let's just go ahead and sign it right now and do this, pick the date in there and then finish this up. So now the seller's signature is in there. And if we go back here to payments, go back to all documents and contracts, and go back to the waiting for others, we can see that this thing has been viewed. If we click on it, we can open it up and say, what does that mean? It's been viewed. Has anybody signed it? And we can see, hey, Colton did sign it, but we haven't signed it yet. So let's go ahead and grab our link and sign our version of it. Let's click on that. Works the same way for us. Finish it out. And now when we go back to our documents here, we can see that we've got one in completed. There you go. Now we can download this PDF if we want and move on with the next steps of closing because that purchase agreement and all the terms and conditions we've got built into it is now signed and completed. Pretty cool, huh? And now here's our signed final PDF with the signature certificates included. This is one of the many very cool things about Stride that can save you a ton of money. It can significantly increase the velocity at which you can send out these official offers to people, helps reduce burnout, does a ton of great things for your business. If you're not using this yet, you totally should be. This feature alone, I think, is worth the entire price of Stride, even if this was the only thing you ever used. And obviously there's a lot more to Stride than just this. So if you haven't started using this yet, be sure to check it out. Hope you find it as useful as I do. Thanks for watching. If you want to see another really cool thing Stride can do, be sure to check out this next video right here. Talk to you next time.